Hi everyone. Welcome back to Silicon Valley blog. My name is Hari. I'm a software engineer. Here we are representing or presenting a scenario. <laughs> it's not a scenario. We are uh, doing the course. Uh, uh, one uh, statics wise course or you can say descriptive wise course on Redux Toolkit. So what Redux Toolkit is and let me take you directly to the slides that I made for everyone. So we can see RTK, Redux Toolkit. So it is a shorter version uh, from the Redux, you know, some uh, some syntax are, you know, uh, you know uh, synthesized and, you know, uh, given a best, best structure and, uh, you know, reduce some boiler code from the Redux. So that's is Redux Toolkit. It is a version of, you can say, uh, from Redux or you can say it is, you know, uh, you can say it is a shorter version of Redux. So how we can install our application? Uh, like that we were installing our application, uh, like we are using node package manager for giving a uh, npm install g create react app, will create react app and in that folder if you are giving and px create react app your project name and then you can create your application so we are have we need to install this package npm install react we have dom we have to install redux react and redux package we have to install and at the rate <laughs> redux js slash toolkit react uh, redux and redux sun with axios we have to install so what the package uh, individually does do here react this is a core library for building user interfaces and it's provided necessary functionality uh, like a component managing the state how we can handle rendering in that what this package will do react and react dom this package is responsible for rendering react component in the browser it's provide the method method for interacting with the dom and updating the ui when state of react component change react redux what this package does do here this package is a officially react binding of for for redux it enable react component that interact with redux store so this is the package uh, what it it will enable the feature in react is this package enable react component to interact with the redux store because a store is a big object where each each and every component state is stored yeah good so and what what it will do other other stuff making it easier to connect uh, connect with components to the global state and the dispatch actions react redux package this this thing it will do then we are having that particular thing that that's why we made this video is redux.js.toolkit this is officially toolkit for efficient redux development redux is already developed uh, it is already developed but uh, this is the official document is to make the re redux efficient okay it is simplify the common redux pattern and provide utility to create reducers actions and redux store include feature like create slice function for creating redux slices which help to what it will do redux slices which helps to reduce the boiler code plate or you can say boiler plate code so uh, that i told you same thing it is doing we are having other package react redux we were having and here we are having redux thumb a middleware what this will do <clears throat> this is a middleware for redux that allow you to create asynchronous logic in in your action creators it enable actions to written function instead of plain object so uh, it enable actions to written function instead of plain object so uh, that action creator uh, used to create uh, used to written uh, plain object but uh, by using reductions what we are doing is we are making or we are enabling our actions 
to return a functions in place of object which is helpful for and then then uh, uh, it is it is you know returning a function in place of object that is what function function does do here function is helping us to handling asynchronous operation like api call asynchronous api calls application programming uh, interfaces calls or api call we can say we are having one methods uh, called uh, uh, these apis or we can say retrieve data from the servers that is called axios you know http request library and we can say axios is popular javascript library for making http requests hypertext transfer protocol requests it simplify the process of sending asynchronous http request and handling response so we can you know uh, there, there is a layer we can say uh, front end and back end layer or we can say you know uh, uh, front end layer back end layer how it will connect uh, with each other by using apis so we can say from the client side we can send the request and from the server side we can get the response so this is how it in, in, we can say so uh, for handling http request api uh, that axios will be used or axios people are pronounced a different name maybe in in the context of react application it is commonly used for making api calls axios now we'll go more and how we can you know install redux tunk npm install redux hyphen tunk we can install that okay so http request it will handle and we can for npm install axios we can do that for uh, installing the application uh, that axios inside our application then because that is the main part here uh, that's why i i kept this uh, along with this what redux slices are there so we can say uh, you can, we have read here uh, is include feature like create slices function for creating reduced slices which help which help to reduce boilerplate code what it will do is it reduce boilerplate code so what we can say here a slices is a collection of a redux reducer logic and actions for a single feature so let's suppose in uh, uh, if you are building a redux application then we have to write action separately and uh, uh, one one file for you know uh, we can say uh, reducer separately so there, there were two files but here we are collectively taking in a one file that is called uh, slices uh, from the redux <coughs> typically is defined uh, into a single file so we are defining a single file and making everything uh, for react and uh, sorry for uh, reducer and for action and we are making a one file so that is you know, beneficial for this the name comes from splitting up the redu uh, root reducer object into a multiple slices of the state so we will see this example but uh, there are other other uh, stuff are there so people will ask some time in interviews you know uh, we are using redux here and we are having you know uh, reducer here so reducers are you can say pure function so what is the definition of pure function uh, then we can say it it will give same argument and always return the same result this is a one definition we can say in a pure function uh, has no side effect like it won't be mutate the input arguments so it won't be changing the input arguments it it will be returning with the same so we will say this by example by while we are discussing all the stuff so uh, then we can say just take a little little clinch for you know uh, the redux react the redux toolkit components so redux slices what it will do it is define redux slices using create a store uh, that map that uh, uh, stuff it will use uh, redux create a store from this so specify the initial state and contain reducer to handle uh, state modification so it is specify the initial state and its contain reducer to handle the state Redux slice. Then we are having Redux store. So uh, it's configure the Redux store uh, from Redux toolkit. 
combine multiple stores with the root reducer. So then, then we are having two methods, use dispatch and use collectors hooks. So what we can do, we'll take further use. First we'll go with the uh, use selector. So it's display data from the Redux store using selector. Whatever data, data are there into the store, it will display in our component. Use, use dispatch, now we'll, okay. uh, we'll say uh, just ulta or <laughs> just reverse. So action, uh, it's dispatch action to modify the stage using the, using the dispatch function obtained from the use dispatch. That is what we'll say. So now we are having Redux actions, a defined action with the Redux license to describe the stage modification. And we are having a provider comp provider integration. So it's wrap the, it's the wrap the main application and component with the provider. So I will show you this example. Uh, but we are having little uh, more APIs. So we are having one API is called uh, configure store. So what it will do definitely uh, by name it, it's in a state. It definitely it is uh, you know using for creating a store. Combine the slices reducer into the store root root reducer, and uh, and we can you know create a middleware enhancer for that. Middleware is for you know. Uh, synchronous if you are not using middleware then our redux will be synchronous and if you are using middleware then our, our redux will be synchronous uh, asynchronous combined slices we are having this this is work like a, a combined reducer so if you are having multiple things create slices this is helpful method so combine a function that accept the initial state and object of reducer function so this is the combination of that we'll say we read that but uh, previous you know uh, why i kept this again but previous versions we were using uh, map state to props in place of use use selectors and map dispatch to props in place of use dispatch so we are having providers that we can say we can wrap the application and provide uh, and make our store available for method components that's why we are using provider Middleware we are using uh, to make our application synchronous, but where we can use a middleware intercept in, <coughs> inter intercepts the dispatch, allow the asynchronous data flow, and finally dispatch the action. So this is what. So this is the uh, slide, and let me go to the code. So here in the packet, I already set up the code. Uh, then we can say what we have created. Here we have created uh, one component. Here we are having Redux. Here we are having API services. So let's see. First, we'll go uh, with the connectivity. First, we can create our React application to the Redux application. So we'll go with our root root folder here or root file here. We can say index.js. So it is directly connected with the uh, uh, from here index.html. Okay. So we'll go with index.js. How it is connected? I will show you here. So in that we are having uh, here we are having an ID root. So now how we can you know grab this ID in our uh, JS file? This is index.html file inside that public folder. So we'll go here. Uh, I'm telling the flow. I'm go. I'm going here, and now we can say document get element by ID by root. We can grab that, and it it is rendering inside that. Uh, this is a React. Uh, DOM. So we we have to render this inside the React DOM. And which 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 method of sorry which component we are rendering inside that we are rendering app.js. So means our application the visibility or we can we can see from here. Okay. So this is how the flow. So let's see this this thing. Uh, we have to uh, give a provider. And what provider does do here is it will uh, provide a store availability for nested components. So now we can say by using provider or store is available. Store is available for whole this application. Now the store is available for the whole 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 uh, components or we can say nested components. Then we can say only uh, store is available. Now how or communication will happen? So communication, you know, uh, we can sometimes we can take uh, we can you know send data to the store or we can get the data to the uh, we can get data from the store. So there are two vice versa application uh, applications uh, you know we can we can follow. Yeah, let's go through the code then. 
so we'll go we will go to the store once and in the store we are having a root reducer okay uh, that root reducer we are having and uh, inside that uh, we, we have one configure store so uh, we have given the configure store uh, then we could you know uh, provide a reducer to that at the middleware we are missing Mm, configure store middleware okay cool so we have given that that reducer is available to, from the store now we can say we'll go with on the root reducer so root reducer uh, if you are having multiple reducers then we can combine with the root reducer so we are having uh, root reducer and now you can see the now you can see the logic of now we can see the everything logic because now what we were saying with uh, with the redux toolkit uh, uh, means slices we are having the combination of you know react uh, we are having combination of reducers and uh, actions so we should go inside this component so this is this is the main component and this is our slices so here uh, <coughs> we are having a create slice method that is helping us to create a slices so what and it, it will be having two logics one for uh, actions other for reducer so let's see for reducer logic here so reducer logic we are having cases uh, add case i have added so loading loading case i am having success case i am having and failure case i am having okay and what what initially i have given uh, because i want to handle api call so then api call is having users as a form of object uh, form of array and if it is state here state status i have given and error handling i have given here for uh, for error error thing uh, error stuff i have given him i have given here so this object can handle our initial state okay now now what we can see here is just little bit thing here uh, that we have to remember is here we are using so this is the state creation and then we can say uh, by using user slices this things where we where we're giving import uh, import export user slices and reducer also we need to combine with because this is this is also a object okay user slices dot reducer we have to take care and uh, action part is there so this is what we can say okay so reducers okay cool so now we are here here we are handling our uh, actions okay so action creators we are handling here so we are having create async thunk means what it what it what it does do is if you go here then we can we can say uh, first argument uh, that it is having is first parameter it is having is sorry i not argue by parameter string we can take payload creator we can take and uh, action thumb creator because this definition we are not having so let's search this so this is the best documentation so a function that accept uh, uh, redux action type string and callback function okay so you can you know take, take this definition in your mind so it will accept only uh, a string and a callback function. What it, it what it does do? It should return a promise and generate promises lifecycle action type. So I think it will handle uh, only the promises, uh, and uh, it it will grab one string as a parameter and one callback function. So let's see, create a sync thunk. Okay, cool. Then we are having here create slice. So this is creating a slice here. So this is, this is a format of you know we can say slices creation and then uh, we are grabbing our data from our state state user and users so now we can say here we are having users so we are grabbing the data here now we can see uh, okay this thing is done then uh, we'll come to our component
now we come to our component and uh, in, in that component what we can say is first dispatch uh, is happening from our, our component itself then uh, we can link to our uh, this function that is from actions so we can say whatever they are in the actions uh, previously it was there with the uh, redux but here it should be there in the slices so here we are handling and what what function we are handling get get user so now we can say dispatch fetch user we are handling fetch user we are handling that and from where this this data is coming now uh, let, let's go through the data so we are having services inside the services we are having api so this is uh, this is you know uh, api api basic stuff we have handled uh, but this data that, that that is having from here okay api dot gate request and we are having the data so we are grabbing the data and we are passing that so we are we are having user api so let's go to the slice let's go to the slice and user api dot gate user so if we, if we hit it if we, <laughs> we check this so data is coming from here and this is the gate request from the apis and from where this data is coming data is data is coming from this api so this is the flow for this uh, i hope so you like this video and uh, please like share subscribe my channel and uh, we'll see some other, other tutorial this is uh, you can say uh, recalling our uh, recalling our uh, redux toolkit logic so you can go through with this also uh, you can you know pause this video and see uh, each and every stuff here what's working and i can add this also here so i'll go in last Okay, so let me go this. Okay, and what it does do? Just take some definition from here and let's see. We can add this, uh, but this is how it is working. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye bye.